Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, December 27th, 2019. The tarot card for today is the Ace of Wands, and this one comes to us from the recently released Light Sears Tarot by artist Chris Ann Donnelly. And this image is so perfect for today. This card is so perfect for today. And sometimes I even think to myself that people must think that I sit down and say, let me see what's going on. What card can we match up to this? And I gotta tell you, it's all totally random. This is our second ace in less than a week. Now the moon continues today in Capricorn where we just celebrated not only holidays, but a new moon annular solar eclipse at four degrees Capricorn. So we're just entering that space in between. And these are exciting times for sure. Also today is the last day of a direct Mercury being in fiery Sagittarius. Now when we look at this image, we see this head that looks like it's a matchstick, you know, and that match has been lit all right that represents all of the passion and the drive and the creativity and desire the ideas and did i mention that today is considered to be the luckiest day of the year with a sun jupiter conjunction taking place at five degrees capricorn if you are a follower on patreon or in my members only area then you understand what this means to you this capricorn energy this luckiest of days and having this ace of wands if you have not yet set intentions for this new moon this extremely positive eclipse okay then make sure you do so today and make it be for the things that you most want to achieve in life make it be personal okay not for some pie in the sky wishes but for the life that you wish to create because this ace of wands is handing you the power to do just that to create as you head into 2020 the life that you have always wanted the very definition of what that life should look like has probably changed over time but the passion and the drive are here to make it happen this is not something that you will achieve in a day, but it is something that you will achieve over the coming months. And of course, it very much involves the Capricorn themes. That is one thing that you need to keep in mind because that's where there is a great deal of influence in your life over the coming year. I do want to mention here that if you follow aspects and in this case, the Sun conjunct Jupiter and you know, each time it's in a different sign, okay it will not happen next year so you might want to keep that in mind as you you know figure out what you're doing right now what has to do with this ace of wands because we won't see it again until january 28th of 2021 when the sun and jupiter meet up in aquarius and i'm very tempted to use the word launch here although it's not like launching a new business or something of that nature but it's launching a phase of life where you're bound to be doing things in a new way and this is something that's going to be ongoing it's not something that's just for today and tomorrow or whatever this is about taking this idea and watching your power grow and who you are becoming it's more so that than it is anything else because what it's saying here with this with this ace of wands and with the sun conjunct jupiter that you can be whatever whoever you want to be and even as tough as it may seem sometimes you are never too old to begin anew to start something wonderful and fresh in your life okay many of you have felt i want to say robbed of your power and you know like maybe in a particular area of life maybe you've gotten everything back together and the finances are doing good the job's doing good the family's doing good but maybe you know the the love life is on non-existent okay um whatever it's about 
Maybe you're looking for that additional security. Maybe you want to be at the top of your field. Whatever it is, this is your passion. This is your drive. Know what Capricorn means for you because what you are putting in place here at this moment in time, at this new moon, at this special conjunction is something that is ongoing, long term. What are you going to create? I want to thank you all very much for being here. Don't forget to check me out on Podbean. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.